there's so many videos on the web about what is shadow work, but not a lot of videos on telling you how to do it. So today's video, I am doing shadow work and I'm gonna take you step by step of how to do it. So if you wanna learn how to do shadow work, then continue watching. Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Candace, and welcome to my channel where everything's perfect, throw up them hearts, including you. Hi, so family, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing day. Today is my born day. I was incarnated 35 years ago and around this time of the year, every year my birthday comes up, I am start getting sad and I started thinking about it like, last night, why am I so sad? So I realized the only reason I feel sad on my birthdays, every time my birthday come around is because as a child, no one acknowledged my birthdays like my dad till today and i wanted to say this is no shade towards any one of my parents my parents did the best that they could for me and that i feel that i've had this experience for a reason to be the best version of myself i needed this experience to really truly live my purpose and to really overcome my fears and so yes so no shade to my mom or dad. I love you so, so much. So the reason that I feel sad around birthdays is because even to today, my dad doesn't know my birthday. He never remembers my birthday, never bought me anything for my birthday. And I can remember less than five times out of the 18 years of living ever celebrating a birthday. I can remember celebrating like two, you know, and my mom did buy me gifts sometimes, but majority of the time, no one recognized it. And so that affected me, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel lonely and sad not just on my birthdays, I feel like this could go for any holiday. You know what I'm saying? Like anything could trigger a person like Mother's Day, Father's Day and things and just realizing why do I feel if you have a sadness or a, a negative feeling around that day, why do I feel this way? So the goal of shadow work is basically to understand every part of yourself, even the negative. So that's the loneliness within me, to take back full control of your life and to basically write a new ending. And if you wanna learn more about shadow work, I made a video dedicated to that. So you could just watch that one just to get in depth what it is, because this video, we're doing shadow work. So how are we gonna do this, you guys? we are going to time travel. We are gonna go back to the time and place in your life to get clarity and heal that part of yourself. So what you're gonna need is, it's optional, a picture of yourself. And I think every person should carry around pictures of themselves and childhood pictures of yourself. And this is who you are doing it for. This is who I am doing it for. This little girl who had no hope, who had been through so, so much. This is what I'm doing it for. And truly, I hung these pictures up right next to my vision board in my room. And when I wake up in the morning, I try. Sometimes I forget. I kiss her every morning. I tell her how much I love her. And my daughter, she even walks up and say, I want to kiss the baby. And we both kiss her. And so I know a lot of people are saying, how are we going to time travel? <laughs> you guys, we are going to use our imagination. Everything you desire, you once wanted, all started up here. Everything you see right now, this couch, the vacuum, all started in someone's imagination and they created it. So the first step is to think of something you want to heal. Think of something you want to work with. And so this one is already said, loneliness. And actually, I've time traveled before in a past life reading. So if you guys want a story time or experience, let me know and I'll make that video for you. So now that you thought of something that you wanted to work with, which mine is loneliness, think of that version of you. 
and we're about to go back to that place. And so I'm choosing to go back to one of my birthdays to talk to younger me. And now we're about to time travel. So do what makes you feel good. So light you a candle or an incense and we're about to relax. You can either do this sitting up straight in a meditative mode or laying down. I choose to lay down because that's what I have been doing and that's what makes me feel the most comfortable. So get into a place of relaxation where you could imagine. So now that you are comfortable and you have, you know, a comfortable position, either sitting or laying down, now it's time to have a conversation with that part of yourself. And I wrote some things down. I just wanted to make sure that I left nothing out. And you could talk from your heart. You could write things down. Either way, you're going there. And so here you go, lay down. This is what I wrote to myself. Dear Candace, hello, it's me, future you. Happy born day. I know you feel alone, but I want you to know that I am here for you. I love you. As an adult, you never miss a birthday. You always go out and give yourself the love you desire. Matter of fact, you bought yourself a new camera for your 35th birthday. And you are flying yourself out just because to have fun with your friend. Just know I am always here with you. You have surpassed all expectations of yourself. You found your passion and your purpose. You are so strong and never alone. You no longer need to fear this fear of loneliness. I release this fear. This fear no longer has a hold on you. I choose you. You have me and an unseen team working hard with you. Let go and believe. I love you forever and more. So number four is to hear it out. Hear you out. Confront yourself. Feel how younger you felt and have you present you there feeling that and understand it and know that you are not alone and give yourself the love you desire so what i would do in this moment is just feel it and be in the moment right there and i would walk up to me and i will hug me and i will hold me and I would kiss me and I would say, happy birthday. And just be there playing with her and loving with her and making her feel important. And just feel it. Feel how younger you felt and be that person for yourself that you want it from others because truly it's nothing nobody could do for you some people still feel alone even though they have the world and so you are the only person that could truly fix you truly because some people they feel like that they could come in and they could save the day and that they could fix you and they could give you all the love that you wanted and desire. But if you don't have that feeling for yourself, no one could do it for you. Because I've seen it happen so many times before. Some people, they come in and they're like, I want to fix this person. You know, I want this person to stop doing drugs and I'm going to try to help them in every way possible. But until they heal themselves, and give themselves all the love that they need and desire and truly understand why they do these things and stuff, then they're not gonna truly heal themselves. I hope this is making sense to you guys. In this moment on my birthday, like birthdays, yes, I do feel, did feel sad. I don't feel sad today waking up because actually like, People have, like, I had, like, five text messages, and that means the world to me, And of people saying happy birthday to me, and I know I'm not alone, and even if I did not have that, like, I was going to spend today by myself, I was going to do all this stuff, but I just had to put this video out, so I spent all morning writing it out and doing this because 
I don't want to feel sad anymore on my birthdays. And I really just want to heal that part of me. And that's the most important thing for me. It's not the gifts and the material things. that I, I've done that for myself every year. I, and I'm still doing it every year. And that doesn't make me happy. You know what I'm saying? I still felt sad when my birthday was coming up. And so I know that it's something within me that needs to be healed. And so with that being said, I'm still gonna go out. It's still the day is forever young. I'm still gonna go out and do the things for myself, you know, to enjoy my birthday. And I hope this helped someone Anyone and anyway, so let me run down a list right now of the four things that you need to do. The first thing is to think of something you want to work with. For me, that was loneliness. Think of that version of you and go to that place. This is where you time travel. This is where you lay down and you go back to, for me, my birthday. Number three, have that conversation with yourself. Either write or speak from your heart and just talk to that version of yourself. And number four is hear it out, hear you out, confront yourself. So just be present in that moment and give yourself that love that you desire and feel it, truly feel it. Go back to that place and be present. You are there with younger you and feel how you felt. And not only feel how you felt, Give yourself the love you desire because you are never alone. And it's unseen forces that are working along with you that want you to realize your potential and truly be the happiest, best version of yourself. And so I hope this video was very, very informative. Thank you for time traveling with me. And I love you guys so so much. Words cannot express this. I was I, I was kind of nervous making this because this is very vulnerable and not just vulnerable. It's like sometimes it's like you don't want to take the time out for yourself. I was just like I'll do it tomorrow. I'll make the video tomorrow. I will deal with it later. And it's like the time is now. No, now clear your schedule. You have nothing else. Clear it. Those are things you've done. You've been out to eat. You done did all these things that you want to do on your birthday. And plus. I celebrate myself every day. Really, I do. I really, any day I could do these things for myself. And that's one thing that I'm telling you, younger you, I love you so, 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 so much. I love you so, so much. And I am here with you every step of the way. That's me. And I love her. And I will do anything for you anything and I am truly here to fix us because we have a purpose here on earth and we have a bigger plan and none of this is going to hold you back you are so so strong and anything to come in your way knock it down knock it down because you deserve the world and you are going to get that. You are never alone. I am here with you. And I love you. And whenever you want to talk, come talk to me. Come talk to me. Because I am all ears and that's why I made time for you today. And I'm not waiting. The time is always now. Okay? And that's me. And yes, I felt sad yesterday, but I know truly in my heart, Candace, why are you sad? You have, you surpassed, like really, truly as a kid, I had no hope for the future. You know what I'm saying? Like the world was just so dark for me. I even think, tell people to today, like I would never want to be a kid. Some people say, um, oh, I wish I could go back to a kid where I had no problems and I didn't have to pay bills. I like paying bills. I like being an adult because being a child was so miserable for me. You guys, 
I just want you to know that you are so strong. You are so important. And you have a mission, a purpose that's way bigger than you could imagine. And so, <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for going on this journey with me. And I am so grateful for this moment in time, as well as I'm grateful for you watching it. So thank you so, so much. So if this video was informative to you in any way, hit that thumbs up button right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, right now. Because I'm going to be coming through with all the good, good health and fitness. Talking about that internal beauty exuding outwardly because it's nothing about that internal beauty shining through for me. So subscribe because guess what? I'm going to keep them videos coming. I'm going to keep them videos coming. I'm going to keep them videos coming. Yeah. If you're new to this channel, I like to turn up, okay? So always dance, you know? <laughs> and always remember that you are perfect. Yes, you. You're perfect. You're perfect. You are made absolutely perfect. You are perfectly human. Yes, shout out to all my perfect gang. Throw up them hearts. Gang, 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 gang. Let's connect. Perfect gang and no gang. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. You guys, I answer all of my questions down below. So ask me anything. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. And I can't forget the most important key to healing is forgiveness. Not only forgiving others, but forgiving oneself. Shout out to future me. I can't wait to meet you. Holy hoo. 35 years here on earth, you little princess. You're so beautiful. I love you.